All right, let's get the uh, let's get to the map. Yep. If you would talk about the sailing area and just sort of mark on it, you can. I think you can leave. Yeah, that'll work. So show us where the club is. I guess it's marked on there. Yeah, this is our club, this little red dot. We have a little harbor that comes in off the main lake and that's where we put in boats and we have docks for permanent boats here in the harbor. This is I-30 around, cutting the lake across the middle. But this area underneath still with I-30 there is uh, at least a couple miles wide and about 10 miles long. So it's a big body of water to sail in, you know, pretty big. Um, the, the conditions we have aren't, they're not the thermal related, not sea breeze related. We're far enough inland that it's all system oriented breeze. The fronts generally run through from the northwest to the southeast. Um, let me just to go right into the, the conditions. Um, you know, so more so in the winter, but any time of the year a, a front can come through. And when a front comes through, initially the wind starts at pretty good velocity out of the northwest. When fronts go through, it's the north direction seems to be a bit shiftier than the south direction. But so it'll start northwest, and typically what happens after fronts is the wind generally bends to the right until it gets back to the southerly condition. And, and uh, it, well, chances are we won't see it as much north, but, but, but we might that time of year still. You never know when the fronts go through. As the wind gets more kind of northeast, typically gets lighter and it starts coming off this eastern shore. Northeast is, you know, more shifty than even north would be. Um, then generally we get around to our prevailing direction, which is about uh, coming up from 165 uh, south, southeast is what we see a lot. And again, it's still shifty. It's a lake, of course, like all, almost all, but that's how we sail on seasons on lakes. So there, there are shifts. And we get some shore influences. The, the lake's big enough that you don't necessarily have to put a mark too close to any shoreline or to the dam. But sometimes the marks get close to shorelines and we have classic shore effect like you would on any lake. And that would be if the wind was more, say, out of the southeast at 140 on the compass versus 165, kind of coming off this eastern shore. Initially, the wind will want to be, come off the shoreline, kind of perpendicular to the shoreline, and then take the uh, true direction of the day. Mm -hmm. And if the wind was more west-southwesterly off this west shore, same thing would happen. The wind would come more perpendicular off the shoreline, which would give you a starboard lift in real close. And then as the wind gets out into the body of the water, take the more normal direction for the day. So you see shore effects on this lake like you do anywhere else, but they don't travel too far out into the lake. Is that something that's practical to use, given where they usually set the marks? Well, I think it is, because, um, you know, occasionally our prevailing south southeasterly sometimes gets the weather mark up into the eastern shore that might influence a port lift late in the leg, but it's so dependent on where the race course is mm -hmm. that I hate to uh, you know forecast that too much, but but certainly, and I don't I think I'm speaking to things people already know about other lakes. This is a this is a, a, a phenomenon that happens on all lakes, just not our sure. lake. Right. Um, so, um, what else you want to say about wind, and we'll go to some other stuff. Well, the velocity can be anything. Uh, North Texas is, uh, over the course of a year, the average wind speed's pretty high. When we ran the Masters Nationals in June a couple years ago, it was blowing 20 plus for uh, three of the five races, I think, and not so windy the rest of the time. Uh, it, it could be anything in June. Like I said, over the course of the year, we have a lot of 25 knot plus days, especially when the fronts come through out of the north, or if it's sucking from the south up into the frontal passage. We have, in the summer, we have a lot of very light air. We're kind of in that transition. I don't know that I could forecast what we would get that time of the year, yeah. but it's the same time we had the Masters, and we had some breeze and some light stuff, so good chance we get a variety of stuff. Um, in terms of, um, are there any shallow spots? It's all a reservoir, right? Yeah, there wouldn't be any shallow spots to consider on the race course. Get plenty of waves when it when the breeze is coming from certain directions. I assume. Yeah, if it's windy out of the south, it's not that big a deal because we'll be down close to the dam den of the South Lake, south end of the lake. But if it's blowing out of the north and the wind and the waves can fetch all the way down the length of the lake, uh, we, we can get really big waves on our lake, bigger than most lakes where MC scouts are sailed. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about Rush Creek? No, I mean, I just hope everybody comes. Um, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's a fun place to sail. Excellent. Thank you very much. You bet, Al.